What's going on everybody? Chase on two wheels here at Mountain Motorsports in Roswell. In front of us, we have my personal favorite 650 class motorcycle, if you guys aren't familiar. I am comparing all of the 650 class bikes. We've got the Ninja 650, the SV650, and we have Honda's 650. So, in front of us, we got Suzuki's offerings. This is the X model, the Cafe E looking one. You can get a regular SV650 with not all the bells and whistles, but you can still get it with ABS bins like way, 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 way cheaper. Uh, but yeah, today we're gonna be testing this out. I am on Michelin man status because I'm trying not to be cold. That'll make sense when you guys see the follow car footage because I am I am stuffed into a jacket right now. So my, my mobility is a little low. So uh, we're gonna get this thing going. I am super excited about this thing because this is actually the bike I started on. Started on a 2005 SV650S, which is like a half fared option. It looked like this, it was yellow and fantastic. So kind of living up my old days. But before we get started, make sure to hit the like button on this video if you are a fan of Suzuki's SV650X, an actual affordable looking cafe racery bike. And uh, if you guys are in the market for a motorcycle, make sure to check out Mountain Motorsports. They are the ones that allow me to do these videos. And I got you guys special pricing down below. So if you are getting a bike here, I can save you some cash. Check it out. Okay, without further ado, let's ride the SV650X. Boom. see me I can't even take a full breath right now I got a heated vest on a jacket a shirt uh, a hoodie I'm trying so hard not to be cold I hate being cold uh, riding and trying to record uh, let's throw a leg over Ugh, let's get this thing going all right I got these big big buttons here dude this seat is legit oh my gosh kind of cups everything going on down there all right, so guys, I'm 5'10", my end seam is something, and I got some like slightly bent leg situation, but I can actually flat foot the entire motorcycle, which is phenomenal. I think the seat height here is 31.1 inches, which is the exact same as the Kawasaki I rode last time, even though I do feel like I'm a little more leaned over. All right, let's, uh, let's get this thing, where's the shifter? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, that clutch is engaged quickly, so I typically hold with two fingers, but as you guys can tell, watch. Engage is very quickly, and we don't have an adjustable clutch, so that's gonna be a whole hand situation. Wow, you are leaned over more on this bike. Like, legit, I think I might need to adjust my GoPro. I'm I'm so far leaned over. Right, let's, let's get her going, boys. I am... I'm really surprised at how leaned over I am right now. I wonder, whoa, that, that mirror sucks, but. Okay, so uh, actually, surprisingly, the mirrors are solid. I look in the mirrors, I don't have to move at all, and I can actually see behind me. That is, that is rare. Dude, I'm shocked right now. Can you guys tell in the follow car footage? I feel like I'm super sport leaned over right now. Uh, but if you guys are fans of Cafe Racers, that's kind of the look is to be way leaned over. You're not you're not in an upright body position on this thing. Yeah, this is kind of weird. So as far as the body position goes, like I said, my upper body is, is leaned over a good bit. 
and uh, legs are kind of crunched up and everything. But if I'm thinking about, you know, cafe racers and how they look, this is kind of the look of a cafe racer. You look like you're leaned way over. We're going to get in the other lane. I mean, I, I guess this is the vibe. I think I just came into this not expecting it, which is why it feels weird to me. But I mean, it, it's the vibe. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's what you're looking for. Well, so just like a super sport, you know, I can lean my upper body up and kind of like put one hand on the uh, throttle and kind of do it that way. Very super sporty body position. I'm going to have to, uh, after this video, I want to go sit on a regular SV. Like, are the handlebars so far up on those or, or what's the deal, you know? I was under the impression that this X model was only looks. But I'm starting to think maybe the X model also is a different... Uh, it has different ergonomics or something. And if it is different like that, that would start to make sense why this X model costs like $800 or $900 more than the regular model. I could understand that, but if it was only looks to charge like $800 extra bucks, like, who, who, you, who you think you are, Suzuki Ducati? I do love the way this bike looks, though. Patty Rick! It's Patty Rick! Come here, Petty Rick. A high five to you, good sir. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, that's my buddy, Petty Rick. Uh, Petty Rick is, uh, he's been in a couple videos. If you guys have seen the deep dive video on the Nikon, <laughs> Petty Rick was in that video. All right, so uh, let's talk about the dash real quick. I had, it's been a minute since I've ridden the GSX-S. Uh, you know, they got a 750 and a 1000. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same dash. I think it kind of looks like shit. I'm not a huge fan of it. I, you know, we're getting to that tech level where I want colored dashes and stuff like that. And this kind of old school looking dash, I mean, it's fine, but it just really doesn't do it for me. It, it doesn't look as cool as this whole X model has going on. You know, like we've got a cafe racer-y looking bike. So if you're going to give me anything, give me like an old school dash, you know, to kind of match the look or whatever. That's kind of what I would like to see here. Um, but you can tell they just grabbed that from their other models and they didn't put any extra time into it. Kind of a downfall, but whoa, that's a cop up there. Let's get on over. I will say uh, shifting up and down through the gears, there's, there's a bit of mush going on. Uh, there's a little bit of a click, so I'm getting a return from the transmission of like, hey, I see that you're in a different gear. But getting into those gears is, it's not that tactile. It's not as tactile as I really want it to be. It's not like bad, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's bikes with super mushy transmissions. This one's not one of those, but you know, it's kind of like halfway. If, if this is a firm clicky transmission and this is a soft and gooey one, like a marshmallow, we're looking at like right here. You know what I mean? We're a little closer towards the mushy department. I wouldn't really complain about it if I owned the bike, but just gotta, you know, I, I gotta tell you guys, I gotta tell you guys how it is. One thing I'm noticing that I do like is part of this kind of lean forward situation is I have that feeling of like nothing in front of me. You know, like I've got a minimal dash up here. I've got clip-ons, I'm leaned forward. And when I look forward, dude, I can't see anything. It's it's all, uh... later Petty Rick. When I look forward, it's just, it's the world in front of me and that's kind of a weird look sometimes if you're used to motorcycles that you're sitting maybe farther back on and you can see your your dash your cluster up here your control panel it's kind of a weird feeling to like you know i'm looking forward right now i can't even see the bike which is uh it's kind of cool i like that but uh it is something you'll have to get used to if you're uh if you're used to a bike where you can see stuff <gasps> puppy hello puppy what are you doing so moving over to the clutch it is engaging really soon as you guys can see the use of the clutch is actually working out really well. It's a really smooth situation. <laughs> oh, that feels weird leaning it over. You know, like with, with the body position, I'm not on a super sport, but uh, leaning it over feels a little, I don't want to say bad. I want to say, I want to say it, it has a unique feeling leaning it over because super sports have a specific feeling when you lean them over. They feel super comfortable. This kind of feels like I'm living on the edge when uh when leaning the bike over. I wanna I, I'm ready for the end of the highway to see what this thing feels like when uh when we get to that big turn. 
So when we were doing the comparison video on this bike, we were moving it around and before I had looked up the weight, I didn't know that this thing wasn't the heaviest thing in the class. But it's actually the Honda that's the heaviest bike in its class. I can tell the, the weight is just in a weird spot on this bike. I don't know if, I don't know where the weight is, but wherever it is, it just kind of, it makes the bike feel really heavy moving it around. And I'm wondering if wherever that weight is positioned, I'm wondering if that's what kind of makes the leaning of this bike <clears throat> just feel weird. Could just be the ergonomics. <laughs> oh, it feels gross. <laughs> it doesn't, not gross, because that's, you're going to assume that's negative. And maybe that's what cafe bikes feel when they're uh, leaned over. Who knows, man? So far, I know one thing. Compared to the SV650, the engine and the throttle response of this bike gets me so much more excited. And what's interesting about that is that both of these bikes have twin style engines. So you would think the engine response characteristics would be pretty similar. But I don't know, man. The, the gruntiness that this bike has down low gives me that feeling that I used to have on my SV650. And I love that. The only thing that does suck about engine characteristics of twins is typically you get a lot of low down torque and you sacrifice horsepower and horsepower is going to really what gets you going on the highway. So we're here at the highway part of the test and I'm really curious to get this thing on the highway. You know, we, we have like this little bikini fairing up front. We don't have a lot of wind protection, but similar to super sports, I'm leaned forward. So I'm going to lean into the wind. And sometimes that's a good thing. It helps you uh, on the longer ride, the wind can kind of hold your body up. So kind of interested to see where we're going to be with this thing. Blinkers are kind of middle of the way. I, I, I can feel, if I'm not looking, I can feel when I have them on and not, but I don't get a good click there either. I would put them in the middle of the road. I would, they're not bad enough to complain about, but they are not good enough to really say, you know, how good they are. I will say, just sitting here looking at this bike, I really dig the minimal, minimal situation. I think they did a really good job making this bike look like really cafe style. Other bikes that are kind of like doing that new age retro is something like the uh, XSR. They got the 700 and 900 over, over with Yamaha. Um, I can't think of any other bikes off the top of my head right now, but there's a few bikes in the class. Oh, right. Kawasaki's also got their uh, Z900 RS. All these bikes, it looks like these, these brands are starting to be like, people really like the looks of these old cafe, you know, older looking bikes. And uh, they've, had, they've been making a resurgence lately. Uh, but I think Suzuki did a good job here. All right, guys, highway test. 2019 Suzuki SV650X. The, can the parallel twin handle the highway? What does the cafe racery body position do for us? while on said highway. Can we catch traffic? I'm sure we can. Let's do the Lexus. Let's try the Lexus. What are we in? Six gear. Caught the Lexus with absolutely no problem. Catching cars on the highway isn't really a big deal though when you're outside of that 300 class. So we're in six gear going 90. I'm not really sure what this, I'm looking at this tack and I'm like, there's a box at zero, there's a box at five and there's a box at 10. So obviously the box at 10 is before red line and the box at zero is at zero, so why five? You're just giving me a halfway mark or what's going on? All right, we're on the highway. I've scooted back in the seat, which is very comfortable. I'm leaning forward and you know, as I expected, my whole body is getting hit with wind, but it's okay. I'm not upset about that because with me being leaned forward so much, the wind is almost being a barrier to hold my weight up. So look at this. I can just barely rest my hand on the throttle and I can sit here for a while. That is like the only way to make a zero fairing bike comfortable with no fairings on the highway. Because otherwise, if I'm upright, see, like, the wind's pushing me back. That's very uncomfortable. But when I lean into this uh, body position that this bike has, I feel fine. As you guys can see, we can be in six gear at 85, and we're just resting around 6,000 RPMs. Super comfortable. Right, we could shift down, throttle up. Obviously, getting into the three digits is not hard on a bike like this. 
I will say that right now, this is really uncomfortable. Even with leaning forward, like it just, there's just too much wind to deal with at those speeds. So the, the motor's easily capable of it. And, you know, you could probably get a fairing or something, but just stock like this, I wouldn't really recommend it. Leaning back and forth in the lane, we do have one of the, this bike's gonna be more stable than it is nimble. I feel like I'm not going anywhere. You know, wind's coming in on from the side. I'm, I'm not being pushed around. But if I want to change lanes, it's not a real quick situation. You know, it's get all prepped up, get the bike pushed in that direction, and then the bike will eventually follow you. You're not going to have a super nimble bike, regardless of the uh, forward-facing position. Right. Not a highway machine, this one is. Kind of happy to be off the highway with this. So as far as commuting, yeah, this bike could probably get you through a commute but I don't think you would have a, a great time touring on this. It's, it's definitely not what this bike is made for. All right, the big turn, the big... <laughs> oh. Okay, there's something about where my feet are positioned that make me feel weird here. I think that's the leaning stuff. My upper body feels fine. Leaning over with my... Something about my feet. I don't know how my legs are positioned, but the bike just feels weird leaning it over. At least being serious, you know what I mean? Yeah, this bike just feels so much more comfortable on city streets like this. In traffic and like on regular roads, you can tell that this bike is kind of made to like, you know, ride around town, do your little bike nights and, and go show off your cool looking bike. It doesn't really feel good pushed, which is interesting because your upper body is in a, it's in that aggressive stance and it makes you want to push it, but it's, it's not really happening. If you guys noticed on the highway, you know, we were in six gear, dropped a gear or two, and uh, just hammered it. And twin engines are just not really made to be going fast and get you going faster. They're more made for kind of like city street riding where you're not going and then, you see what I'm saying? Couldn't have done that on the highway. I wouldn't have, uh, the bike wouldn't have been throwing me back like that. The way these engines are set up, I'm gonna have a lot of power down low and the higher I go, my power is just going to taper off a good amount. That being said, uh, as far as city riding, that's I, I like the way this bike feels on these type of streets. Now, with the throttle, I like the way it's responding and everything, but there is a decent amount of play here. So there's a, you know, if I'm not going, like, that's how much my hand moves. You know what I mean? So I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm sure you could uh, modify your throttle to change that, I would assume. But if you're getting the X model, you're already spending an extra 900. You know, you might not have any extra cash to, to get little modifications like that. See that going from nothing to something? That's where this bike, that's where this bike wants to be engine wise. So uh, talking about the seat real quick, I remember on the uh, Ninja 650 I rode, that seat was really tiny. You had no way of moving around on that motorcycle, so you were kind of stuck in the position that you were in. This uh, cafe racery looking, it's like fake leather, or maybe it's real leather, who knows. Uh, this seat's pretty large and it feels really comfortable, but it's also big enough for me to like, I can scoot up and I can have a more upright body position if I want. I noted though, this doesn't really feel that comfortable. I can then scoot back, get my butt into the little curve of the seat and now the bike feels a lot more comfortable. See, this doesn't feel as weird, like right, like the the leaning in that turn didn't feel quite as weird. So it's just uh, just the highway was not not that fun. See, let's let's try to. Yeah, I'm not getting I'm not getting rewarded for riding hard, uh, which is which is fine. Every bike should not make you want to ride hard. It's totally cool for a bike to be like. I just want to be this cool looking like ride around town bike. It's a Suzuki. It's probably going to be super reliable as any of the big four bikes are going to be. And it's got torque from down low. So this bike is kind of feeling like it's supposed to be this little city slayer that looks super freaking cool. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it's supposed to be. Now, back in the day when I had my SV650S, it had a good bit more fairings than this, and it was way more upright. But, you know, I took that thing to the mountains. Granted, I think I, I, I had one day where I wrecked three times in the mountains before I went home. So I uh, wasn't the best rider back then. 
But the body position of this is totally different. I'm gonna have to sit on a regular SV to see if see what that body position's like. I'm really curious about that now. Oh man, from the get-go, I, I love the way this bike feels. All right, so here's some more opportunities to lean the bike over. Yeah, you know, the more I lean it over, I, I feel like I maybe shouldn't have given it so much crap. It doesn't feel gross leaning it over. It just doesn't, I guess the better way to say it is the bike doesn't really re reward you leaning over. It's just like, okay, we'll, we'll go that way. You know, that's how it feels. Whereas if you were on something like an R6 or a Panigale, you're, you're in a turn and those bikes are like, go, 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 go. You know what I mean? They're, the, bike is, the bike is like your buddy who's always trying to get you to go harder and go faster. I love that smooth engine braking though. That's, that makes me able to ride so much more fun. Yeah, wheel came up. Okay, bike a wheelie, but this thing's only got 32 miles and I feel like shit trying to on it. Let's do a little, uh, let's do a little front brake. Let's say we're coming in hot. Not bad. You know, there's nothing like a Brembo, but I'd say that's solid middle of the road as far as braking goes. Let's do a little rear brake and front brake coming into this totally adequate totally adequate brakes got no problems with those i remember how i used to wheelie my old sv i would uh i would do the throttle stuff of like <laughs> man that throttle does not like you two fingering it it wants the whole hand bro that is not what she said at all if i got this motorcycle the first thing i would change is that clutch i need my clutch out right here i do though appreciate that they are black they don't look like crap. Oh, look, a braking situation. Let me brake. Perfect. I got plenty of brakes for it. The brakes actually really feel like they fit the motorcycle. You know, if this bike, if this like kind of older looking cafe bike had ridiculous brakes, it wouldn't really feel right. You know what I mean? But because of that, the whole, it's, it's a package. And it's, it's a package I actually like. You know, I keep going into these turns trying to, trying to like dive into them and I, I keep having to remind myself that this might be a pleasure bike a bike that you know you just ride around because you like riding you don't ride it because you necessarily want to go fast or you want to lean hard you just want to be out in the environment and enjoy yourself that's kind of that's kind of the vibe I'm getting off of this motorcycle it's a hey man look we don't got to go real hard we can just ride around enjoy ourselves and you know, if we want to just throttle up from red light to red light, we can have a phenomenal time. Go to a bike night, grab some pizza, hang out with your bros. It's kind of, it's kind of what the SV650X is telling me. My favorite part about these new age retro bikes is if you're, a, if you're like me and you're a fan of these older looking bikes, but you're mechanically not inclined at all. You know, if you get an older bike, but you probably assume you're gonna have to do some work on that bike but if you're like me and you like the look of those bikes you can get one of these retro looking bikes and you get the looks of an old bike right but it's brand new and it's in a it's a brand new bike from a major manufacturer so it's gonna run great you know what I mean it's it's a it's a pretty cool situation that we have for people that uh, are fans of that aesthetic you get this updated machine that runs smooth as heck and you don't got to deal with all the maintenance bull crap that uh that you would have to do on on uh, an older machine you know look at this look at the front of this bike right now everything looks like it belongs except for this guy like you could have used one of the little black squares or something right don't give it that like, get rid of this come on man you're messing up the whole vibe i'm trying to work on here you know i kind of like leaning it over when it's slower like the slower I'm going, which goes more towards that like, this is your this is your bike night bike. This is the bike you ride around town, show it off, enjoy the ride, and head back home. You know, that's, you're riding around parking lots being like, yeah, this is my bike. You know, I'm taking Instagram photos. By the way, if you want to see some Instagram photos, at c 2 pics on Instagram, bro. Well, uh, let's park up, up, up front a little bit. Big old kill switch button. Got a kill switch there. Where are we at down here? Oh, one of those back far boys. All right. All right. Let's check out the 2019 SV650X. Such a cool bike, dude. 
Now, you know, we were talking about the uh, brake res. That thing looks out of place. Something that else looks, that looks out of place is that giant exhaust. Look at how cool, like, the, the trellis frame is black. We've got black rims. We've got black forks. We've got black everything. And then you got these weird exhaust pipes and then the exhaust. I'm, I could deal with the pipes. But, dude, give us a little black can. You'd, you'd finish the whole thing. I don't know, man. I think this is a phenomenal looking bike. I think it, I thought it even looked even better after doing the videos of it. Um, we do have ABS here as well. We got this big handle, uh, the big headlight. They even got, look at the turn signals. They even figured those out. Now, a lot of you guys know legality. These motorcycle companies have to give us this stupid piece of crap. Cut that thing off. Put something else there. So honestly, if I got this motorcycle, my go-to things, fix the tail as per usual. I honestly wouldn't want a fancy exhaust. I would, I would want something like black to, just to kind of blend in. I would either paint or replace that. And I would either, uh, I wouldn't paint this, I would replace this with like a little box, but legit, I think that's all I would do to this thing, honestly. I might, you know what, hit it back. <laughs> I would take the mirrors off, even though the mirrors worked so great, I'd get some bar ends, and uh, dude, this would be a sick little machine. And it's affordable. And uh, I appreciate that uh, we got a black part of the seat here, so if you want passengers, we got the pegs. But look at that, two bolts off. You won't have the exhaust, so two bolts and off. I think it's a good-looking bike, man. I'm a really, I'm a real big fan of this one. Another cool thing about these naked bikes is anything you need to do, oil change, you got an oil filter right there. You got no fairings to deal with. I personally love that. I cannot stand having to take on and off the fairings of motorcycles to have to do anything on the bike. I love the openness of uh, these naked bikes. But... With all that being said, my friends, I think uh, I think that's it for the Suzuki. Let's get back on it and and finish this video up. I'm so marshmallow man right now. I can't even. I can barely like turn my head enough to see traffic. Alrighty. All right, guys. So the 2019 Suzuki SV650. It's definitely got all the characteristics you're gonna expect out of a twin. It's really grunty down low, kinda tapers off on the highway, and it's capable on the highway. You can get into easily into triple digits, but it's not gonna haul butt down the highway. Major things to think about with this bike is the looks and the body position that it gives you. You have this very uh, forward-leaning body position, very tucked-in legs clutch engages super soon but the whole bike has this like kind of old retro -y vibe but you get all the amenities of uh, abs a newer style engine it's going to be more reliable than an older motorcycle that would look similar and uh you get this kind of open forward viewport while you're riding in thinking of who this bike is for uh, i definitely think that on, the, on a daily basis, a Ninja 650 is probably going to do you better, just in general. Like, if, if it's your first bike or something like that, even though if you were asking me, I would choose this bike a thousand times before I chose the Ninja 650, but that's because I've been riding and I know the type of riding I like doing. I would love this bike, but I would only love this bike if I was going to be taking it around town I would not want to take it on the highway, really. It doesn't, it just doesn't feel at home on the highway. The Ninja 650 didn't feel at home on the highway either, but I could see myself being able to ride the Ninja 650 more, like put more miles on it. But I think the miles I put on the SV650X, I think I would actually enjoy those miles more. I love the look. I think it rides solid. And I'm enjoying riding on it. <laughs> I'm realizing I'm having a hard time, uh, verbalizing why I think if you're looking for your first bike and you you know you've chosen not to go down the 300 route and you're looking for 650s if it's your first bike I definitely feel like the Ninja 650 is probably a better bike for you it didn't feel as powerful as this bike does this bike has its power more centralized right down low in the revs uh, so I think that kind of bodes well for the Ninja to to be a more easy to ride bike but this is a more unique style situation. Uh, 
I do love the seat. The seat is so much more better than the, the Ninja was. And other than the brake res and the dash, I feel like this bike has such a unique look and feel. And when you sit on it, your body position is, is where it's supposed to be to make you feel like a cafe. Granted, I haven't sat on the other SVs, so I really need to do that so I can understand. Did Suzuki do that just for this motorcycle? Because let me go ahead and tell you, if the other SV650s are upright body positions, I have a totally new respect for Suzuki for entirely changing the body position just for an X model. That would be the coolest shit ever. Uh, I know I get a lot of crap from you guys saying that I'm biased against Suzuki. If you guys haven't seen the 300 comparison video, basically I just shit all over the GSX 250R. I think that's a pathetic motorcycle that shouldn't be made. So a lot of people were saying that I was uh, biased against Suzuki, but you know, I just call it like it is. And this is a situation where I think Suzuki has made a phenomenal motorcycle. You know, the little things I don't like other than the dash, I can change those things out. So I'm not too worried about that. It's only the dash that I'm kind of annoyed with, but overall package for the price, this bike is solid. And guys, with that, I uh, kind of got to bring this to an end. Shout out to my boys over at Mountain Motorsports. They're the dealership we started this video at. And uh, they're the reason I get to do first rides. If uh, those guys didn't let me walk in and pick a motorcycle to ride, I wouldn't get to do it and make these videos for you guys. So uh, if you could, make sure to go check out their info down below. And if you are in the North Georgia area and you are shopping for a motorcycle, those guys got a huge inventory so you can at least see all the bikes that you've been looking up online and uh, sit on and do whatever you got to do to help you decide which one you want. If you are shopping for them, make sure to use that first ride special pricing. Give yourselves a little discount on, uh, on the motorcycles you are looking to get on. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. This has been the first ride of the 2019 Suzuki SV650X. Uh, it gave me all of the feelings my old Suzuki had, but totally different body position. But as far as the engine characteristics, feels I feel right at home, man. I feel, I feel like I'm on the bike I started on. But guys, yeah, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're into motorcycle content. Just realize the brake lever is adjustable. Why is the clutch lever not the exact same? Come on, Suzuki. Come on. You gave me one. Give me two. It's all hidden behind all the cables. All right, outro crew. You guys know what to do. Let me know what your outro crew score is for the 2019 Suzuki SV650X in the comments because in our big comparison video that we're gonna be comparing all these bikes together, this, the Ninja 650 and the Honda 650, we are going to have a outro crew score for each motorcycle. So, mucho apreciado dudes. Love you guys a long time for getting to the outro crew. You make what I do possible. So, I will see you guys on uh, the next video, which will be the first ride of the Honda and closing out the class. Very exciting times. Later, guys.